Welcome to the Gray Institute's core conversion. I'm Doug Gray and I'm here with Nicole, who's kind enough to show us the first round of the core conversion. It consists of three rounds, but we simply want to show you round one. If you're looking for a tight core, if you're looking to move better, feel better, to be stronger, to endure things longer, this workout is specifically for you. It's going to consist of many movements with our hands, with our feet, with our pelvis. We want to drive the core from everything from the nose to the toes because that's what the core truly is. It's not just the abdominals, but it's what's in front of us, it's what's behind us, it's what's above us, and it's what's below us, and how that works together for a stronger core, for a stronger body. So Nicole, go ahead and put the weights at your shoulder. And what Nicole's going to do is start, she's going to alternate right hand to left hand, and she's going to drive those weights forward, and she's just going to do two reps of everything, then immediately she's going to go same side. Right's going right, left's going left. Now she's going to go opposite side rotational, so she's really trying to hit all three planes of motion. After that's complete, she's going to go ahead and start with the weights at her hip, and she's going to do the same patterning. So Nicole's going to drive the weights forward. One, one, two, two, and immediately go same side. Right's going right, left's going left, and again, she'll just do two. And then opposite side rotational, so kind of like that uppercut. Two of those, that's perfect. So what she has is a patterning, and what she's trying to do is trying to drive the core from the top down, driving these weights. Now we want to continue to wake up the rest of the body because the entire body drives and facilitates motion through the core. So she's going to do lunges and take the weights knee to shoulder. And again, same patterning. So she's going forward, right, left, right, left to finish out those two reps. Immediately go same side. So right's going right, left's going left. Again, she'll finish out the second rep. And then, of course, with the patterning, she's going to go opposite side rotational. So the right's rotating in front of her body to the left and vice versa with the left foot driving right. What's great about what Nicole's doing is she's allowing her entire body to essentially join the party. We want the entire body to be synergistic in these movements. So when the weights are going shoulder to overhead and hip to shoulder, you really saw how she loaded her body to drive those weights. She didn't want to stay too stagnant throughout the process. So she really want to open up the entire body now as she'll go through the lunges once again, but take the weights ground to overhead. Perfect. So she's really driving the weights down, going to overhead. Two reps of everything. After she goes forward, again, now she's going to go right's going right. And left, of course, is going left as she performs these lunges with ground overhead lifts. After this one, of course, you already know she's going to go opposite side rotation. So the right foot's rotating left. Left foot's rotating right, taking the weights ground overhead, and she's simply allowing her body to react due to the movements. We don't necessarily want to ask her to fire anything or turn anything on, but let the movements do it for us. So as she puts the weights down, what we want to do is continue to recruit the body and let gravity, ground reaction forces, and just the weight of our own bodies be mastered with these movements. This next part of round one of the core conversion will be a series of squats transitional squat thrust with some push-ups. But the cool thing about it is we're going to change the way the feet are positioned, change the way the hands are positioned. So Nicole's going to start side by side and just do squats. And then after the second one, she's going to put her hands down the same way her feet are positioned, do a couple of push-ups, and then pop right back up. She's then going to slide her right foot forward. Again, two squats, just nice and easy, picking a range of motion that works for you. Let the hands mirror the feet and pop back up after two push-ups. LXX or left foot forward, she's going to do two. Again, the hands are doing the exact same thing, and she's just going to go two push-ups at a comfortable pace, pop back up. Now she's going to keep her feet side by side and go ahead and toe in or point your feet to each other and go ahead and do the same two squats. So just down, up, down, up, and the hands are going to be the same way. And the cool thing about how we tweak the feet and how we tweak the hands is that the tweaks are going to be small. So as she keeps it barely pointed in, her right foot goes forward, she'll do two squats. And she'll do the same thing with her hands, oriented this way. Again, small tweak. So the right hand's barely in front of the left, and the hands are barely pointing in. And then the mirrored image with the left foot in front of the right still towed in. Two reps, pop down, transitional squat thrust, two push ups. She's popping back up. The core's excited. Last but not least, we got a toe out. So we're going to keep them side by side, point the toes out. She'll do two squats. Perfect, Nicole. Same thing with the hands, two push ups. Excellent. Pop back up, keep the feet toed out, and we're sliding the right foot forward just a tad. Two more squats. Same thing with the hands positioning the way the feet were. Going ahead and ripping out two push ups at a comfortable range. And then she's going to have the left foot forward, still the feet are toed out. 
as she continues the squats with the squat thrust and the push-ups to pop back up and finish round one of the core conversion. For round two and three, feel free to go to GrayInstitute.com where we have other performance workouts, but Nicole just did a beautiful job of waking up the core from the top down and the bottom up and doing it in positions and motions that we do on a daily basis on how we function.